Freedom! Seven, eight years old, and um, we were in this shop store called GNTC, and there was this uh, toy gun. It's a, you know, I was basically asking my mom to buy it for me, but every time I asked her in the shop, you know, she kind of went blank. And when she said, I don't have the money to buy the toys, I looked at her and in return, I said, okay, fine. When I grow, I'll buy my own toys. So it became a thing for me, having a dream behind closed doors of the things I like to own. Only to realize, sometime down the line, that I'm getting world that yes, Freedom Jacob Caesar, Nana Kwame Vidyakun, Cheddar, Cheese, whatever you hear. I know you got problems with it. You think I got so many names and this and that. But if you have a problem with me, then you should have a problem with Christ too, because he's called Jehovah and he's called other names. You should have a problem with Eminem, that's his other name, you know, Master Mathis. You know, you should have a problem with Jay-Z. How come many people have different names but you don't have a problem with you or their fun? and you have a problem with this uh, humble, flamboyant warrior. I don't know, just because I smiled with you doesn't mean that you have the right to hate me without my consent. The only riches that I have, no, please. I'm damn rich spiritually, physically, mentally. You know, I have so much ideas, so much spiritual power. Everybody wants to be the best. You can be the best, you can be number one. But being unique supersedes the two. You have to always stand out. You always have to be you. And distinctively, people should be able to tell, even with or without your presence, your absence should be felt, just because of the way you present yourself. You know, I feel like when you see me in what I'm wearing and where I'm wearing it to and how I'm appearing, at that very moment should be a walking memorial. You should remember that, oh no, freedom was there and this is how he looked like it when he walked. Which part did he choose?
Africa has risen. Today's world is Africa's world. Everybody has turned back to look at us. Just 10 years ago, everybody had turned their back on us. That's the first opportunity that you need to understand. And why is everybody looking at Africa? We're talking about the opportunities in real estate. What is real estate? The definition of it is just selling fractional spaces. That's it. You know, you, you have to have in your head that you're going to create a space, and the space that you're going to create has to have a fractionality that becomes settled. That's it. Africa is trying to have urbanization before industrialization. I think you need to go back and start from industrialization to come to urbanization. Because you need a middle income wage, an average wage, to survive on. This is what will make the banks interested in lowering their rates for us. If we don't have industrial platforms that pays people over $500,000 a month, then how are these people going to afford to pay three or $400 a month for their mortgages? First of all, the wage is not there. The salary is not there. And we keep forgetting that we don't have the industrial platforms that will create the average employment for the average African. Now, the opportunities in this is that in Africa, it's about to evolve, it's about to be revolutionized again. Then the opportunities will not just start from just real estate, but it will start from every single product, from technology to industrialization to you name it. But the good thing is, it doesn't matter whether it's Microsoft or We are not that rich like the Western world. And if we are all going to go home, I know some people will find it very hard to eat, to drink. So I decided to come to the streets, to the less privileged areas, and those who don't have any hope to buy food, to have food, to have money for the next two weeks, I share my little with them. I share their pain, I understand what we go through, and I pray that God will not let this disease take over our country. But in the next few weeks, I pray that everybody gets something to eat. The disabled, the able, the ones that don't have money, the ones that have money, it's the first time we are all going through this in the world. That's why I'm here share this pain with my people and I will stay by them throughout the time and we will go through this together. Two weeks ago, you will see the baby be an ACN. That's why boy, I give a woman no man to say, There's a button of fear, and some way I look up to say, I want to be a little bit of a dear, then I said, 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 I we are really happy because of the child that he was able to bring us the right Edwin. We thank him very much. global citizens and I just ran into my brother man and I gotta tell y'all yo when Bob Marley's international artists of this world. When I was growing up, I was listening to music. And music is a great thing. I can see everybody's dancing. You know, music brings your happiness back to you. And what is happiness? It's just something that is missing in you. Whenever you find it, replace it and enjoy. Enjoy the night. Love you.